The Amazon is the most biodiverse terrestrial ecosystem on our planet. Its vastness, density, and beauty are breathtaking. Besides the ocean, it is one of the largest CO2 reservoirs in the world and stores 20% of all fresh water. But the Amazon is threatened by the needs of a growing population. Forests disappear to produce minerals, food, and fuel. Earlier this year, researchers calculated that the Amazon is now more likely to contribute to rather than mitigate climate change, because it will store fewer greenhouse gases than it emits. And that is mostly due to massive deforestation. Yet, there are ways to meet human needs by planting trees instead of cutting them down. This is what Camino Verde has been doing for over a decade. Because we know the Amazon can be restored. We are a non-profit organization based in the Peruvian Amazon. In the last 15 years, we have created nurseries and planted diverse polyculture agroforestry systems. Our regenerative mission has led us to plant over 100,000 trees, reforest 100 hectares of rainforest, and protect 100 hectares of primary forest, the source of our seeds. On what used to be degraded land, trees now grow that provide us with food, timber, and medicine, while mimicking a natural forest. We plant the trees that serve both nature and humans, and on our regenerative farms grow more than 400 different species. Let us introduce you to a few of them, starting with our favorite fruits. We grow coconut palms and citrus trees, such as lemon and orange, and a variety of different types of bananas. But especially, we grow species you might never have heard of. These include copoasu. Copoasu is a relative of cacao. It has a sour and aromatic pulp. The seeds can be used to make chocolate. Pijuayo, probably our favorite of all, is a palm fruit that tastes like an oily potato. Eaten with a bit of salt, it's just heaven. Umari looks like a mango, but it's harder to peel. It has only little pulp, but it tastes like the most aromatic avocado you've ever eaten. Sapote is a lot richer in pulp. It tastes like a mix of bananas, squash, and even melon. Besides fruits, we grow medicinal species used traditionally to heal all sorts of conditions. Have you ever heard of Sangre de Grado, the dragon blood tree, that produces a red sap incredibly effective at healing wounds and ulcers? Or maybe Copaiba, a tree whose trunk is filled with an oleo resin that is said to be antiseptic, analgesic, and more. The pulp of pate fruit can be boiled down to a syrup used against coughs and pulmonary infections. There is a variety of ways to process medicinal plants. You can put the bark in alcohol to create medicinal extracts, or take a tea by drying up the leaves. But even more interestingly, an important activity here at the farm is distillation. One of the main species we distill is Brazilian rosewood. In the 20th century, rosewood was cut down for European perfumery, fueled in part by the success of Chanel No. 5 until it was nearly extinct. Every woman alive wants Chanel number no. five. So give her Chanel number no. five in the classic bottle. After a five year search for seeds, Camino Verde was able to plant the first rosewood trees in 2013. A sustainable method was developed to extract rosewood essential oil without destroying the plant. Today, we are growing our impact by planting trees with local farmers and native communities. In 2021 alone, we planted trees with 116 families. Rosewood essential oil is in demand on the international market at a high price point. This allows the farmers we work with to generate a steady source of income for their families only by pruning trees. And at the same time, they regenerate and protect an endangered species. We really hope you enjoyed this virtual tour of the farm. Our approach is to learn, regenerate, and inspire others to do the same. Hopefully, this video inspires you to take action for restoration at your own scale too.